Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now today's video is going to be all on Leighton Lakes as I have now started a grind for a great one. Now until recently the Whitetail have been kind of broken with basically very poor spawns and the Whitetail not going to their zones correctly. I mean I looked around my map briefly and couldn't really find any decent Whitetail. I found like a couple of really small bucks and that was about it and that all changed when I decided yesterday to start the grind and this was actually one of the first herds of whitetail I found and it had a absolutely gorgeous and very very rare melanistic whitetail buck in it so that was a little gift to me from Leighton I feel for coming back and hunting the whitetail and it was just I really had wanted a melanistic ever since I'd seen a picture of one and to, to get it on my first run through like this wasn't a respawn this must have just been either chilling on my map as a spawn that wasn't coming to his zone or maybe they when they did something with it they increased the spawns I don't know how they fixed it but whatever this was the first time I'd actually encountered this herd so he was just chilling there and I didn't I didn't have to grind at all for him so I just took him Dard there with the 6.5 and then I was planning on taking as many other bucks out of this herd as I possibly could in order to try and get some respawns. Since basically since yesterday I have been on Leighton constantly finding whitetail zones of which I have found so many it has been amazing and just culling whitetail and I have had so much fun like I have just seen so many whitetail like I haven't seen whitetail properly in months and months and months and months and then this is what I find when I actually finally get to return to hunting them so I am so stoked and I am really excited about this whole grind and how it's gonna go and basically all of the clips are in in this video have happened in the last 24 hours since I started the grind so this is it's been insane and I kind of feel like Leighton has welcomed me back with open arms and I'm really enjoying the map again so this is going to basically just be all of the clips from the last 24 hours of grinding for the start of the Great One grind and yeah hopefully you'll enjoy it but as I said yeah Whitetail seem to now be working and it's awesome and I'm so happy about it I haven't seen a diamond or a rare, rare Whitetail in so long apart from very very small ones like I know this guy is not particularly big but that's still to me a decent rare buck and so I was really happy and like to see all of these 85 to 100 estimate bucks oh it was just so awesome like you can see here just the sheer amount of whitetail like the herd was flattening down such large areas of grass and there were so many tracks it was absolutely awesome I managed to get most of the bucks from this herd as well by basically chasing them out of their zone so that it didn't delete the zone and then culling them as they were sort of trying to come back and yeah I just ended up getting so much cash and just having so much fun hunting whitetail again and I love it because the deer species are my favourite species to hunt in the game and I really do like the whitetail so when when they got a bit broken it was kind of disheartening and with all the bugs that were happening with the herds not spawning or not getting to their zones properly and also the great ones not spawning correctly all the time I mean I've seen a couple that were just so heartbreaking for the people that had been grinding for them and I really didn't want to have that happen to me so I've been I've been putting this off for so long so I'm really pleased to actually say that I have started now I know it's very very unlikely that I will ever see one or ever get one but it's gonna be a fun little project for me to work on for now at least and hopefully maybe one day I'll get lucky but yeah here you can just see the sheer amount of tracks and just so many whitetail like I have not seen a, a whitetail herd like this in I, could, I can't even remember the last time I saw a herd of whitetail like this when I saw all those whitetail I was so excited I was like okay it was working I'm, I'm really pleased and then hunting around for zones I found a lot of other stuff that was 
just basically hanging around on my map that I didn't even know about. So I spotted this level 3 duck and I decided that it would be kind of fun if I could sneak in and try and get him with the 22 iron sights. A lot of this video is me just grinding for like the white tail and stuff like that so I wasn't really trying to do the no scopes challenge with you know just using the iron sights but I figured a level 3 duck and like this is only the second level 3 mallard I've actually had on this account so I wanted to try and get him in a way that it was a bit more fun. Don't worry I'm not going to shoot him with the 300. I was trying to look at him through the scope to try and work out actually how far away he was because sometimes the binoculars aren't accurate and I've also found that sometimes with the waypoint it's not quite accurate but I'm better at judging it looking through a scope and I also wanted to have a closer look at the feather type on him because I thought he might have had a slightly unique fur, uh, well feather type even though it says fur type on the harvest screen but I thought he might have been some kind of f um, feather type because it looked like he had a bit more of spots on his chest but he was just a common I could see that but I really 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 did want to take him with the 22 iron sights now the 22 iron sights aren't the mo they aren't the best iron sights in the game by far but they're not too bad but I really wanted to get quite close to him before trying to take a shot at him because I had actually tried one shot at him before and he'd gotten away but I knew where he was going to be so it wasn't a much of a fuss that I'd just actually get him on the next run through this area and yeah I managed to actually sneak in and drop him with the 22 iron sights. So after shooting a lot of whitetail last night, I decided to load Layton up again this morning in order to go and look for more respawns and more zones. And this was just waiting just outside one of the lodges. Like, I think this was only a few hundred metres away from the lodge. And I was actually trying to follow some whitetail tracks because I did actually find some as I came out of the lodge and I was interested to see where they were going and see if I could pick up a zone. And evidently I must have shot, shot a bull moose here yesterday and this was the respawn here this morning and that is just the coolest thing. I absolutely love rare moose, especially rare moose balls because they just look so cool. Like this bright white albino just out here in the middle of Leighton and being so huge, it just looks awesome. Now, I had one of these back on my Xbox account. It kind of happened in a similar way that I was really, really wanting one and then one just appeared on my own map and I didn't... Because none of this is multiplayer. This is all my own map. That's why I'm grinding all of these animals for respawns. And to actually get something like this again off of my own map is just fantastic. It's the same as getting the melanistic. It really is really nice to actually see really cool rares on my own maps. And I knew that I wanted to sneak in as close as I possibly could to this guy and really make the most of it. Because you don't see these every day and I really wanted to actually take him with the iron sights on 300 just because I thought it would look cool with such a, such a unique looking animal. I mean... He is now in pride of place in the trophy lodge because oh, this is just, to me, just ideal. And I did take a couple of pictures of him while he was out here in the wild because I think he just looks so gorgeous. I just love it. And especially the way that the, like, the white fur contrasts with the dark antlers. I just love it. And it just looks so cool because of how, you know, how large they are. It just looks awesome. So I managed to take him really quite nicely and get a nice vital organ shot at a very close range with the 300 iron sights.
I then headed up to one of the locations where I'd found a lot of whitetail last night and shot quite a few bucks and I spotted some more whitetail fleeing out of that zone and I noticed a very large set of antlers amongst that set that group of whitetail and I managed to spot him just as he was coming back into these trees and it was a level three which is something I haven't seen in so so long as something I've never seen on this account and I was so thrilled that I had basically less than 24 hours into the grind and I already had a diamond respawn like my my spawns on this map are just crazy at the moment Looking at him on the ground, I was so sure that he was going to make diamond and that he wasn't going to troll. That rack was just too big and it just looked like so many other diamond whitetail that I've seen in the past. And yeah, he did make it by an actually decent margin and he's just such a nice looking buck as well. Actual decent mass in the antlers, they're not too thin and wiry. So I was really, really pleased with this buck. And like I said, to get a diamond respawn so quickly into the grind was pretty awesome and it kind of gives me hope that maybe maybe one day we will find the great one now this is something else that i got to take with the 22 iron sights and it is something that in all my time of playing call of the wild both on xbox and pc i have actually never seen I was hunting along the river at the bottom of Leighton and I was basically I was just shooting more whitetail and as I've been going along I've been shooting whitetail jackrabbits as well basically it's just bonus kills when they run out in front of me and they they stop because they're quite slow to flee and I was talking to my partner saying oh how much it would be, I'd love to find a level 3 jackrabbit and as I said it, I looked through the binoculars and spotted a level 3 on the opposite side of the water. And I could not believe that it happened like that, with me actually talking about how cool it would be to find one, and then one just appears. Like, I was in just so much, like, shock, basically, that it happened like that. And the, the smaller species in this game haven't always been that easy for me to find i just never have got lucky with them the ducks i've had decent luck on but the rabbits and the hares not so much i've even had a troll level 3 european hare on my xbox account and i've only ever had one diamond hare and that has been for all of the the hare slash rabbit species that has been my only diamond until now so I decided to actually follow his tracks and stalk him, which is something that I don't think probably a lot of people do, is spot and stalk diamond potential rabbits. But I wanted to get really close to him and take him with the 22 iron sights, just to make it extra cool. And I managed to with just one shot, which was exactly how I wanted it to go, and I was just so thrilled. But here you can see what I mean about them being slow to flee, so I took that one as well for extra respawns. But I was just so, so pleased to finally have a diamond jackrabbit. Like I said, these are probably not the rarest diamonds in this game. They're just something I've struggled to find. I've had more luck with rare things. Like I've had an albino lion. I've had just, I've had blonde lions. I've had some of the rarest things in this game. But jackrabbits and the rabbits have always been something that I have found very difficult to find. So actually getting this guy was so exciting for me. And again, it just felt like, Okay, I really like Leighton again. This is really fun. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. There will be more to come from Leighton, hopefully, as the grind continues. And yeah, thank you very much for watching.